I was born mid-August, early morning, 95. By this, I'm a Leo. But nothing about that sign typifies my nature. I'm quiet. I like to take a back seat and let others lead as I observe. I've always felt misplaced, misdefined and misunderstood. As a child, I love to giggle and make others laugh as well by doing silly things or inventing jokes. But there was a fear within me. Social anxiety rumbled into my teens before it became too much to bear by the time I reached adulthood. At 18, I shut off the world, dimmed the lights and contemplated suicide. During those nights, however, I heard a voice. A man of insight who passed away many years ago. His name was Alan Watts. I read his philosophies, studied his work, and turned the lights back on into a new world of living in the moment, liberated from the egotistical chatter that weighed my mind heavy with negative thoughts. I owe a large part of my development to the brilliance of his teachings, and I wish I could express my gratitude in person for all that he's taught me. If you find yourself in the dark, concentrate on the voices. Sight is not necessary. What appears is not what must be. Instead, be attentive to the sounds and feelings to navigate your way out, to better understand yourself. There are teachers, meet them, but there is no greater master than you. Just in the same way as you don't focus your attention on how you make your thyroid gland function. So in the same way, you don't have any attention focused on how you shine the sun. So then, let me connect this with the problem of birth and death, which puzzles people enormously, of course. Because in order to understand what, what the self is, you have to remember that it doesn't need to remember anything. Just like you don't need to know how you work your thyroid gland. So then, when you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever. And, it, and sort of undergo that. But one of the most interesting things in the world, this is a yoga, this is a way of realization. Try and imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Think about that. Children think about it. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? And if you think long enough about that, something will happen to you. You will find out, among other things, that uh, it will pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. 